it's not quite take two, but we might get this in one shot. But uh, when we left off on our last history blog, we were talking about Havity Grace postcards and the post office. And here are a couple more uh, shots of the post office, that building that I own. From the, These postcards were taken, pictures were taken back in 1909. And some of these pictures and postcards are in a book that was published by Schiffer, but Mary Martin, the postcard queen, anything you want to know about postcards, she could probably answer for you. And David Craig, who is another Havity Grace historian. But also another person that, that uh, was big into Havity Grace postcards was George Dibel. And a lot of his postcards are put into Mary Martin, David Craig's book. And this book has will show you the history throughout the town in, in postcard stories. They've got uh, postcards on the racetrack. They've got postcards on the railroad. they got street views. They have uh, the lighthouse, which is the, probably the most iconic uh, picture of Havity Grace. Um, and they also have a lot of different boating postcards. But this, this book is several pages long of all different history, times back in history. A lot of them are even dated on the back of when they went through the post office. We did a little thing on the post office of the cancellation stamps. Um, George Dibel, a good friend of ours, he has the most extensive Havity Grace postcard collection that I've ever seen in my life, and he allowed me to scan all of them in. So if you go to my Facebook page, George Bahukas Wagner, you can click back on photos and see a lot of the photo, the postcards that I have scanned in from him. And a lot of them will, could be the same, but what's interesting is the information that's on the back. You, you can read some of the stuff that people wrote the things. Some of them can get pretty, pretty bad, pretty raunchy <laughs> on some of them, depending on what they were talking about. Um, another postcard that I have, a collection that I have, came out of an attic in a house here in town. The girl brought it to me. And it was this binder that was full of postcards. And it pertains to the Hecht family who had the Hecht Hotel here. So all the visitors that was came to their hotel when they sent them a postcard, wow. the son, Lawrence Hecht, who is also on a postcard, 1909, his aunt Ruth collected post the postcards for him because he he wanted to collect them. So this binder was full of them. The pages fell apart, so I put them in in that in the the shoebox. And this is now part of my Havity Grace History Museum. Now, one of the rarest postcards that we have, and the reason I know it's the rarest is this is a folding postcard dated 1909, and it was sent to and from the Hex. Went a couple of times overseas, and on the front it says that this is a one-of-a-kind postcard. So this is probably the coolest postcard you'll ever see, and the rarest that I know of. Mary Martin may say something different, but as far as I know right now, this one is. And any information that you want or need on postcards, she would probably be the one that could give you the most information about postcards. And if you <laughs> need more information, or if you have any more postcards, let us know. Uh, you can contact me at, here at the store, or also visit our website, which is bahookas.com. You can also find out information on at historichavitygrace.com. And check out our uh, history blog site at bahookas.net. Thank you. Thank you.